We're standing approximately in the middle of what will be our future open pit mining operation here at Magina. From this point right here, there'll be an open pit extending about 750 meters to the west and another 750 meters to the east. We're looking at a net present value done at a 5% discount rate of almost a billion dollars. Internal rate of return, 39%. The payback on capital, only 1.9 years. These are the types of numbers that get us really excited. We're gonna focus on that and try to pull those costs down even lower so that when this mine comes into production, it is truly one of the great low-cost operators globally and establishes Prodigy and the Magino Mine as one of the more compelling gold mining opportunities throughout the world. We have a very aggressive drill campaign. We're processing 490 meters per day of core here, which then goes to a lab in Timmins and comes back here for the results. It's going to go through a lot of rapid changes, going from junior exploration up to the emerging producer mid-tier level. So in order to do that, we need to drill out a bit further. Seven rigs turning 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 100 meters a day, uh, is a very aggressive campaign. And that's just a manifestation of the fact that we want to uh, get this thing going as soon as possible because as you can see from this core sample, we know it's there. I think the most exciting thing here is working for a company that is actually going from an exploration phase into production. It's a very rare thing. And we will be seeing gold at some point being poured on the property. The best place to be is in these projects that are growing. You're seeing a project move in an evolutionary stage from what was an exploration project and is now moving more into development. But at the same time, they're maintaining their exploration exposure by these large metered drill programs and continuing to grow the deposit. The uh, potential uh, growth at depth current pit is only to 350. We're seeing mineralization as far as 650 meters and we also see extending mineralization along strike. We're very excited about the potential for growth. Many of the things we look for that help make a deposit more amenable to mining and more economically strong, power, road, infrastructure, rail access, we have all those here at Magino and that helps contribute to the very strong economic model we see for this deposit. So there's, there's almost no work to be done from an infrastructure standpoint to get the project moving forward. If you compare that to some other projects that are hundreds of kilometers away, we'll need power, we'll need water, and they're going to take several hundred million dollars to get there, and many years. Uh, you know, we really like this project because it's easy. We can see how much value this project will build, not only to our shareholders, but to the surrounding community. This proposed mining operation could have 200 to 300 employees, good, high-paying jobs in an economically depressed part of Ontario. We think the benefit we can bring to the community and our shareholders is one of the things that makes this project not only unique, but really one of the better development opportunities anywhere in the Western Hemisphere.